The first lesson I saw was the terrible confusion that's in any school as people race about at bell marked intervals. The time honored experience of mental development is that it occurs with strong concentration, not with fragmented attention, class position. You will not find the doctor's son, however ignorant he is, in uh, the class with the marginalized kids. Indifference is wonderful. This is a factory to create indifference to intellectual things, to ideas. They have to be whipped, ordered, and disciplined to do anything. Or, just as bad, they have to be offered bribes to do it. Emotional dependency, sure. Probably half of the 60 million kids who attend school in the United States removed from their own families at a very vulnerable age, become emotionally dependent on a pat on the head, a smile, avoiding an insult. Intellectual dependency, in spite of rhetoric to the contrary, a teacher's nightmare is invested in those kids, if any, who actually have learned how to think for themselves. The teacher's job is not only to convey bits of information that should not be challenged, but also to convey how you connect those bits of information, but not practice in doing that for yourself. You memorize someone else's connection. What is a circle? Billy Henlow. A circle is a closed curve in which all endpoints on the circumference are equally distanced from the center points. Very good. Provisional self-esteem, this, this really ties into the grades, the test scores, the signs of approval by the teacher. You're allowed to feel good about yourself if an authority issues a signal that you can do that. On the other hand, if the authority condemns you, the only way you can feel good about yourself is to become an outlaw.